Hey folks, welcome back. It's the last video of the Burger War series. Again, you can, can watch it as a part of the series or stand alone if you're interested in how to put locations on a map. So we stopped here with a list of uh, geolocations with latitude, longitude values for our McDonald's and Burger King restaurants in Paris, London and Berlin. And now we want to put them on a map like this. Let's start. So let's start creating a new file. Let's call it visualization py. And first of all, let's do the necessary imports. So we need pandas again to read in our, our restaurant's geo CSV file. Uh, we need folium, which will be our library for creation of maps and markers and so on. And we need a special plugin called marker cluster from folium. We don't need it necessarily, but it is a kind of cool feature for marker aggregation. I will show you in a minute. So with having a folium imported, we can already create the base map. So uh, with the folium map class, we can create a new map. A uh, location basically um, is the location of the map center. And here I took some central place in Europe. Tiles define the style of the map and here OpenStreetMap provides some free tiles which are uh, very beautiful. And the zoom starts uh, define how far away from this center you are. And um, with m.save uh, we can save it as an HTML file and have a look on it on the browser. So uh, let's execute it. It's done. Let's move to our folder and let's open it in uh, Chrome to have a first look on it. So this is our base map created with Folium. As mentioned, we are somewhere located in, in Europe. We can also zoom in, zoom out. And perhaps that's interesting to know. So let's go back to the script and let's change the zoom factor here. So the zoom start and execute it one more time. Have a look at it again. Compare this. This was it before. This is a map now. So we are much closer zoomed in. It's, it's Paris actually. And we can do the same one more time. Let's uh, use a zoom vector of one. Execute it again. Refresh it. And you see now we are very far away and basically see the whole world multiple times. If we zoom in, we can zoom anywhere. So this is the base functionality of, of a map in Folium. Now let's move on to create markers on our map. But first let's, let's change it back to five, which was quite good. Oh, like this. As said, uh, let's create a marker or better, let's create two markers. So with the folio marker class, we can create a marker on a map. We also need to specify a location, so a combination of latitude and longitude values. Um, we can give the marker a pop-up with a text inside and we can specify the color of the icon. And with the last comment here, add to M, we added to our map, which we created on line five. So I did the same twice, one blue marker with the same location like the center of our map and one red marker with a little bit different latitude, longitude values. Let's execute it and see how it looks. So let's refresh our map. And you see we have two markers here, one directly in the center of our map in Paris and one a little bit to the north. We have a blue one and a, and a red one. And when we click on it, we see our pop-up text. Well, that's how, how to create markers. Next step basically would be creation of a marker for each of our values here from the, from, from the CSV file. So 
Uh, first of all, to get a feeling again about our data, let's read it in and print some values to the console to get a feeling about our structure of the data here again. So uh, let's quickly use pandas here to read in our CSV file, restaurants geo.csv and quickly print out the first lines to the console to get a, get a feeling again. Let's execute it. And we see here our, our data frame in, in pandas. We have the, the restaurant name here in the restaurant column. We have the street, the uh, zip code, the city and country. And then at the end, the latitude, longitude, values which we or, or which are the most important for our markers but also in the pop-up we might add the restaurant text and the address again so that's what we do right now so loop through the data set and each line and create a marker for each of them all right so first let's comment those things out we don't need them right now or we can also delete this one now, after we read in our data frame, we need to create a loop through each of the lines. So uh, this is a comment to loop through each of the lines of the uh, pandas data frame. And basically for each of the line, we then want to create a marker, right? So let's do this and copy it in but uh, we don't want to create the same mark all the time and the same location with the same text and so on so um, those things must be variable and will change with uh, each of the line we are looping through right so let's remember um, the columns so let's perhaps read in first the restaurant column the latitude and the longitude column and make them somehow variable So this is a comment to read in certain columns in a certain row. So uh, in the let variable, we will always store whatever comes here in this column and the LNG column uh, in the LNG variable, we will store whatever is in the LNG uh, column. And in the rest variable, we will store whatever comes in the restaurant column here. So this we can already use to um, and, and put it basically in the marker. So we replace the fixed values here with our variable ones and also the pop-up text we will exchange with the restaurant name. Let's see how this works and execute it. And let's have a look in the browser and refresh it. And you see we get a lot of markers here and each of them contains the restaurant name here, Burger King or McDonald's in the pop-up. But somehow we can't differentiate it, right? So they are all blue. Uh, we somehow want to want to differentiate and see directly is it a McDonald's or a Burger King restaurant. So perhaps let's also make the color a little bit variable. So basically, as we already read in the restaurant name here, we can make the color dependent on the restaurant name. So let's do it. So whenever the uh, restaurant's name is McDonald's, we make the color blue. And when it's not McDonald's, we make it red. And we need to adapt our marker here, which we create for each of the line. So uh, we we simply read in the color variable here instead of giving a fixed value. Let's execute it. And let's refresh our map. This looks much better. Perhaps let's move in closer to Paris. You see we get a lot of red markers, also a lot of blue ones. And if we click the blue ones, they should be all having McDonald's at the pop-up text. And the red one should have Burger King inside. Great! So we are nearly done. Let's have a look on two more details. So first one, um, if we look on our map and click on the mark, we only get the restaurant's name. We want to have the full address. That's the first one we have a look at. 
and then the second one we will have a quick look on the functionality of a marker cluster which is very nice and gives a good way to consolidate markers so but first things first let's adapt the pop-up text So uh, this should adapt the pop-up. So we uh, want to somehow concatenate the restaurant's name, the street name, the zip and the city. And for some of the rows as they contain somehow, for example, the zip code contains values. It might be an integer or something. So we need to convert it into a string that we can display it as a text. So we need to change the pop-up here not to only the restaurant name but the whole pop-up string and let's save it and execute it looks good let's have a look on the map refresh let's perhaps now move into London click on a marker and we see the restaurant name Burger King the street the zip code and city and this is already looking very promising nice perhaps one more hint this br is a line break so it uh, um, just puts the next contents into the next line to make it a little bit more yeah to give a better overview now last thing let's have a look on the marker cluster before we close off the video so the marker cluster let's first of all create a marker cluster So uh, this comment just creates a new mark cluster and we add it to our folio map. And then last thing, we don't add the markers directly to the map. Instead, we add it to our created marker cluster. Um, let's execute it quickly. And again, ha let's have a look on our map and execute it. And as you can see, now it summarizes the number of markers in a given um yeah in a given area and if we move closer in let's do it you see it divides the sub areas a little bit so there's one burger king restaurant far away from the city center in berlin there are two restaurants here and if you move closer you see especially in the in the real city center of berlin there are a lot of restaurants a lot of fast food consumed here 17 restaurants overall while around the center it's it's a few less and if we move in closer we can then come to the to the real markers with uh, the address and so on so that's it already there was the last video on burger wars i hope you liked the series and in future now, I want to focus a little bit on different topics like MQTT, Kafka, JavaScript stuff. Um, um, be curious, more from me soon. Bye bye and have a nice day.